Gearbox Finance is a DeFi application that allows you to access leverage to increase your capital efficiency for doing things like farming airdrops, for yield farming different DeFi protocols, for increasing your Ethereum staking yield, and you can even use it to access leverage to trade on decentralized exchanges like Uniswap. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how you can use Gearbox Finance to access that leverage, to unlock the capital efficiency of the assets that you're using to farm airdrops or to yield farm. And we will break down the benefits of doing this as well as discuss the risks, because of course, no leverage protocol like this comes without risks. And at this point, I do need to disclose that this video is sponsored by Gearbox Finance. However, that's great for me because I was already planning on using this to leverage up my airdrop farming activities. So let's discuss what this actually is and how you can use it if you want to, for example, leverage up your eigenlayer and liquid restaking token airdrop farming activities. So for starters, how does it actually work? Now I'm gonna throw links to their documents down below as well as links to the audits and the bug bounty stuff so you can check it out and make sure that you are comfortable with the risks before you make any deposits to the protocol. But the TLDR is that there's two sides to this protocol. There's people that lend out assets called passive lending and then there's people that borrow those assets. And those are the people that are traders or airdrop farmers or yield farmers that are trying to leverage up their ETH or other crypto assets in order to maximize your yield. So when you navigate to the Gearbox Finance application, this is what it looks like on the passive earn tab. This is where you can lend out your crypto assets to earn an APY. So there's a supply APY for these different assets. And if you were just interested in depositing your assets to this protocol and earning a yield, you can use the passive earn tab right here. But what I'm really interested in is the leverage tab because this is where you can leverage up the assets that you already have like ETH or staked ETH to farm airdrops or to yield farm and get super high APYs. Anyways, before I walk you through exactly how this all works, let's backpedal a little bit and talk about the benefits of using this leverage protocol and then also the risks. So for example, with the leverage points and leverage restaking, which is currently enabled for Ether Phi ETH, and the Renzo ETH. The benefits are quite clear because you can use leverage on your ETH or staked ETH in order to increase your Ether5 points and your eigenlayer points. And the way that this leverage works, for example, with the EtherFi ETH is that you're borrowing correlated assets. So for example, you can deposit one of these four assets in order to leverage up your EtherFi ETH. And so what this means is that you could deposit, for example, ETH or wrapped ETH to Gearbox Finance, use up to 9X leverage, and then borrow EETH against that in order to actually maximize your EtherFi airdrop points and your eigenlayer airdrop points. And since you're borrowing a correlated asset against the value of your ETH, which is that liquid restaked EtherFi ETH, then there's actually a much, much lower risk of liquidation unless there's some sort of black swan DPEG event because the price of EETH regular to wrapped ETH or just regular ETH is not actually going to diverge or have much volatility. So in my opinion, that is the main benefit of using Gearbox Finance. You can really unlock the capital efficiency of your assets by using this leverage. Now, in terms of the risks of using Gearbox Finance to increase your airdrop farming or your yield farming potential, of course, you need to be aware of the risks of liquidation. Now, like I said, since you're borrowing, in this case, a correlated asset, the risks of liquidation are much, much lower. However, of course, there are still some risks. If there's a price oracle malfunction or some sort of depegging event, then that could impact the health of your loan. And so I wouldn't actually recommend necessarily sliding the leverage bar all the way to the right. And if you use leverage below 7x, there would need to be a significant DPEG in order to actually trigger a liquidation. And the average leverage used on the platform is currently around 6x. So as long as you manage the amount of leverage that you use and don't necessarily just slide the leverage bar all the way to the right, you should be okay. Now, in addition to the risk of liquidation, of course, there's also smart contract risk as there is with any DeFi protocol. Now, Gearbox Finance has been audited six times and they have a pretty substantial bug bounty, which does help increase the overall security of the protocol. But when we do weigh the benefits against the risks of Gearbox Finance, I think it's actually a great tool to unlock capital efficiency, especially for people that at least understand how this works and are maybe at least intermediate airdrop farmers or yield farmers. And one of the main reasons why you might want to use an application like Gearbox Finance now is that eigenlayer farming for the airdrop is coming to an end in probably a couple of months. The token is gonna to launch soon. And if you're starting now, one of the main ways that you can actually catch up and to earn enough eigenlayer points to qualify for a decent amount in their airdrop is to use leverage protocols like, for example, Gearbox Finance, because that will allow you to really increase 
your eigenlayer points and to catch up. And so it's actually sort of buying back the time that you missed if you didn't start farming eigenlayer last year. And when you combine that with a really low risk of liquidation because you're using correlated assets to leverage up, it is a great way for people with a decent amount of capital to actually capitalize on the eigenlayer airdrop even if you haven't been farming it for the last several months. And if we look at the Dune dashboard showing the growth of the Gearbox Finance protocol over the last couple of months, even just the last couple of weeks, it's absolutely insane. You can see that it's just gone absolutely parabolic in the last couple of weeks because people have realized that you can just use this to maximize your airdrop farming for the Eigenlayer airdrop, as well as the LRT tokens themselves. Now let's walk through step-by-step step how you can use Gearbox Finance to leverage up your airdrop farming or your yield farming. Now one thing I will say at this point with the leverage airdrop farming for Eigenlayer is that currently it's only available on ETH mainnet. So it will be available on Arbitrum relatively shortly. And if you're watching this video, maybe a week from when it was released, you might actually be able to deploy this strategy on Arbitrum L2 and save a small fortune in gas fees. But currently leveraged LRT is only available on ETH mainnet. And the one downside to that is that the minimum borrow amount is 25 wrapped ETH, but that is including the leverage. So for example, if you used five ETH at 5X leverage, then you would hit the 25 ETH min borrow amount. Or if you used three ETH at eight point some odd leverage, then you would meet the threshold as well. But like I said previously, I would recommend keeping the leverage closer to something like five or six, just to be on the safe side and protect yourself from potential DPEG events. And so what that means is that if you want to use Gearbox Finance to leverage up on Eigenlayer, you can currently only do that on ETH mainnet and you need to have at least a decent amount of capital in order to pull it off. Now I have seen some people on Twitter that have aped massive amounts of ETH into Gearbox Finance using leverage. So for example, this guy, deposited 85 wrapped ETH at 4X leverage. But I do understand that this will be quite prohibitive to people that are farming airdrops without tens of thousands worth of capital. And so in that case, I will say that you can actually use Arbitrum L2 to yield farm or airdrop farm in the future. And there's a much lower minimum deposit. And of course you will save a massive amount on gas fees. So let me walk you through how to actually use Gearbox Finance on the Arbitrum L2. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the leverage farming and to leverage up Ethereum staking yield. And the way that you actually make a deposit and use leverage on Gearbox Finance is pretty much the same if you're leveraging up your staking yield with something like Rocket Pool Stake ETH or if you're leveraging up your points for Eigenlayer using the liquid restaking tokens. So this right here is where I would leverage up my RETH staking yield. And on the Arbitrum L2, you can actually use a bunch of different tokens to make a deposit. So I'm going to use some of the ARB tokens that I have. So let's say I'm going to deposit 200 ARB tokens and use 5X leverage. In exchange for this, I'm going to receive LP tokens representing almost 0.5 RETH and the average overall APR of this is going to be 6.57%, even though the actual ETH staking yield for holding our ETH in your wallet is something closer to 3%. And the actual interface on the application is very simple. You select which asset you want to deposit from the list, how many tokens you want to use, how much leverage you want to use, and then it's a two-click approval since I'm using an ERC-20. I have to approve the spending of my token and then actually make the deposit. Okay, so that trade went through and I basically used the ARB tokens to convert to wrapped ETH and then to borrow against that for the rocket pool ETH. So this is still leveraged using correlated assets. The borrow APY is very low at 1.61% and the health factor of this is solid. It will be very hard for this to be liquidated unless there was a massive black swan DPEG event. And after you open up a position, you'll be able to track your wrapped ETH credit account with the dashboard here. You can see which assets you've borrowed. You can track the overall health factor of your account. And you can also see the details on the borrow rate APY as well as the APY that you're earning if you're yield farming or if you're farming airdrop points, you can see that here as well. Now, if you want to use the token that you just swapped into to actually trade on leverage, you can hit here on swap. And you, this is basically a Uniswap interface where you can trade between different tokens. And if you ever want to close a position and withdraw your funds, you can go here to manage, go down to the bottom, close credit account, click confirm closing, and this is the amount that I would get back. So 0.1 wrapped ETH, which is basically the equivalent 
of those 200 ARB tokens that I deposited. And yeah, that is how it works. So you can use that exact same step-by-step -step process to make a trade on the Ethereum mainnet and farm airdrops that way. Or you can use it to yield farm on Arbitrum as well as on ETH mainnet. And if you're patient and you wait a week or two, you should be able to actually farm the Eigenlayer airdrop and get points on the Arbitrum L2 as well, which will save you a massive amount in gas fees and help you maximize that way. So hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and thank you to Gearbox Finance for sponsoring this video.